Hey everyone, it's Dr. Martin from Einstein Pediatrics. Uh, I'm not at Einstein and I'm not in my usual place of my home. I'm in my bathroom and you're wondering why are you doing this in your bathroom? Uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about using saline in our nasal passage. Um, and I thought a great time to opportunity to share with you as I'm uh, just getting over a cold myself and how we do that. Um, so you'll hear me talk about a lot uh, with kids with colds as one method to help them with the nasal congestion in particular and obstruction. Um, big thing about saline is it really isn't meant um, to as much flush as it is to decrease swelling that we're trying to do. And we do that through the high salt concentration, which pulls water out of the cells. And you actually, when you, while you, while you flush or put saline in the nasal passage, you actually feel that happening right away. Um, the best method to do this is a neti pot, which is a passive pour. Um, you make it fresh. Don't uh, When you make the salt water solution, do it with lukewarm water. Um, you should make it fresh and use it right away. Um, some people do boil the water to reduce the chance that there could be uh, bacteria in there, um, which is not an unreasonable thing to do. But I think just making it fresh with salt is probably the biggest thing. I've had people make a batch and just kind of keep pulling and leaving that out and having stuff grow in that. So don't do that. Um, so when you do it, um, for the neti pot, it, it is a passive pour. So one of the dangers I've seen where you do more forceful methods, where you actually push and force the nasal saline up, um, the danger is if you're really obstructed, it, it can actually push the water into the uh, eustachian tube. And that can cause trauma to the eardrum, which is very, very painful. And I've had a handful of cases over time uh, where I've seen folks do that. So I generally avoid advise against that. Um, whereas a neti pot, which is what this is, just a little fancy teapot, plastic, 10 cent thing. Um, it allows you to pour the saline in the nose. It's a passive pour, so you're not actually forcing the water up. And so if it hits obstruction, it's just not gonna pass. Um, that is a much safer way and what I would recommend. Now you obviously have to have compliance with this. So this is probably not something you're gonna be able to do with your toddler. But if you Google it, I swear to you, you will find videos of kids as young as three doing this. So it, it, it's not impossible, but you gotta, have, you gotta have cooperation to do this. It's not something you should do forcibly. So I'm gonna show you, and my staff's gonna be entirely grossed out that I did this, but I'm doing it. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna tip pet, goes in, right? And it just pours. A little, a little gross, uh, but what you're really trying to do is get the water up and around the bend. You get the most penetration, and it really, really does help open up the sinuses. Um, you may feel your ears pop uh, in the station tube, um, which can give a lot, of, a lot of relief and actually prevent for for many of us who are prone to sinus infections, sinus infections as well. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, until next time, take care.